This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Haley has a night off. There is new information tonight in the death of a nine week old infant named Chance Walsh. The Northport baby was allegedly killed by his parents and buried in a shallow grave last year. The Department of Children and Families saying an error was made by a hotline counselor. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is here now with the latest. Dwayne. Well, Scott, a new internal report from DCF admits the agency ignored a tip that could have potentially saved Chance Walsh. Now, the organization has initiated a change. The Department of Children and Families releasing an internal review of how the agency handled the case, admitting an error was made the day after Chance was born. Last July, an anonymous caller told DCF that Chance was born to parents who were heavy drug users. The call was screened out because it was thought to be hearsay. Executive Director of the Child Protection Center, Doug Staley, applauds the caller's efforts in taking the first step. At the other end, they're looking at a matrix. Does it rise to that threshold? And if they tell them it, it doesn't rise to a threshold, they're not going to accept it, and you still have concerns, you have a right to speak to a supervisor. According to the review, the counselor has been reassigned. Following Chance's death, all similar cases are now to be directed to a supervisor. We can look to improve the process and the training at the hotline to make sure those reports that need to be investigated are accepted and that it goes through that correct process. There have been changes every year to help improve the process. Staley says that hotline receives thousands of calls each month. So it's real easy after something tragic does happen, and this was obviously very tragic, to come back and say these things should have happened. The reality is there's still people, and the reality as people we all make mistakes. So we're just trying to put as many safety nets in place as possible. Chance's mom, Kristen Burry, took a plea deal and is currently serving a 25-year sentence. His dad, Joseph Walsh, is still awaiting trial. Staley says it takes a collaboration of many to make sure it doesn't happen again. Law enforcement, state attorney, child protection center, DCF, guardian items, we're all part of that system. So when we focus on one entity failed, we really have all failed. And we reached out to DCF for a statement, but our phone calls were never returned. Scott, back to you. All right, Dwayne, thank you. Suncoast State Attorney Ed Brodsky fires one of his prosecutors after her involvement in two recent car crashes. This is video of, we found of Jesse Wiseman on YouTube. Brodsky says Wiseman showed poor judgment when she went drinking in Punta Gorda nearly two weeks ago and then was allegedly involved in two crashes within minutes during her drive back to Sarasota. Witnesses say she rear-ended a car on I-75 near Clark Road and then later hit a cement sign on a center median off Fruitville Road. Obviously, we're disappointed in the actions of Ms. Wiseman. Uh, she failed to uphold the very high standards of professional conduct that we expect of all of our prosecutors. And uh, we made the only decision that we thought was appropriate, and that was to terminate her employment. Brodsky says he's asking the governor's office to assign the investigation to an independent body to see if criminal charges should be filed. There are also some questions if members of lo local law enforcement acted properly in handling this case. Florida's Agency for Healthcare Administration clears a Naples facility of dropping off a homeless man in Sarasota. A three-day investigation in June found no evidence of wrongdoing by the Willow at, uh, at Naples. Sarasota City Manager Tom Barwin filed a complaint against the facility nearly two months ago after a homeless sex offender being treated at the Willow was allegedly driven to our area and then dropped off outside Sarasota's Salvation Army. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, as well as the Florida Department of Children and Families, are investigating the drowning of a toddler. Deputies were called to a home on Henrietta Place in North Sarasota this morning. When they arrived, three-year-old Haley Nito Hernandez was at the bottom of a swimming pool. The child was taken to Sarasota Memorial, where she was pronounced dead. Deputies say a 16-year-old cousin was watching the toddler and two other children under the age of six. Detectives believe the drowning was accidental. Let's get a check on our weather this evening with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. A pretty nice sunset and a beautiful night, Bob. Yes, it was, Scott. A uh, nice night out there. Uh, the showers and storms we saw earlier today did spawn a funnel cloud uh, near I-275 I and State Road 70, but no, uh, no damage associated with it. Never reached the ground, but a uh, pretty humid night, too, at this point. We had some storms off in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see some of that activity right now just offshore of Venice. Uh, pushing off toward the west. Not much to it, but we can see other little cells popping up here and there in the Gulf. Uh, it shouldn't be all that intense. And as far as rainfall goes,
pretty intense rain at one point this afternoon uh, as the sea breeze front moved in. You can see uh, nearly an inch and a half or just over that near Lakewood Ranch. Uh, 2.7 inches of rainfall just the east of I-75 uh, near Fruitville and also all the way down into Clark. Some pretty heavy rainfall east of the interstate. We'll have much more in your weekend weather forecast and an update on the tropics coming up in just a few minutes, Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. Confirmation tonight, the mosquitoes are likely spreading the Zika virus in South Florida. Governor Rick Scott says one woman and three men in Miami-Dade and Broward counties contracted the virus through mosquito bites. The FDA is no longer accepting blood donations in those South Florida counties. Donations are still being accepted on the Sun Coast, but there are some new rules. Travelers who have been to Zika-infected countries or have visited Miami-Dade or Broward counties are encouraged to not donate blood for at least 28 days after leaving those areas. Suncoast Blood Bank officials say the safety of the blood supply is a top priority. One of the best weapons Suncoast Blood Bank offers in defense of Zika for platelets is pathogen reduction, and that is an approved um, process to screen, screen Zika. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that we need to put into place. Right now, we're focusing on the training of our staff uh, to add that additional consent uh, for the Zika IND test. The Suncoast Blood Bank is asking people to donate blood now in anticipation of the arrival of the Zika virus in our area. Plans are moving along to transform a failed condo development in Bradenton into a beautiful park. This land sits right across from Baylord Elementary School. John and Rebecca Neal Park will include community gardening, a kayak launch, and a creekside dock. As part of the project, eight new homes will also be built nearby on lots owned by the city. We asked the community what they wanted to see, and the main things that came up was, you know, uh, just a, a nice place to stroll, uh, walk your dogs, and then canoe and kayaking came up, and, and uh, you know, this, is a, this creek is really beautiful. If all goes according to plan, the new park could be finished and ready within six months, and then sometime after that, the new homes would be built. Some top honors for Gold Coast Eagle Distributing in Lakewood Ranch. The beer distributor ranking number one out of more than 600 wholesalers across the country. The company took home a perfect score in Anheuser-Busch's InBev Ambassadors of Excellence National Championship. The annual competition judges wholesalers on community involvement, sales, and image. Gold Coast typically ranks within the top 50. And this year, the wholesaler received 1,000 out of 1,000 points on the evaluation. Congratulations to them. Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back. He'll have the official Suncoast forecast for the upcoming weekend. Plus, Hillary Clinton makes her first stop as a Democratic nominee for president. How she and Donald Trump are getting ready for the election. And dozens of people ruled out after claiming to be heirs to Prince's fortune. Across America with Mega Jackpots, it's Mega Millions. Good evening, I'm Carol Blackman. It's Friday, July 29th, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annu annuitized $20 million. To win the jackpot, all you have to do is match all five white balls plus the gold mega ball. Get out your tickets. Good luck. Your first number is 31. Up next is 19. That's followed by 11. Then we have 16, and our final white ball is... 48. Now time for the Gold Mega Ball. The Gold Mega Ball is four. Your winning numbers are 31, 19, 11, 16, 48. The Gold Mega Ball is four. Now if no one matches all six numbers, Tuesday's jackpot could be $25 million. Good luck. Hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? ABC7 has the information you need. Access our special Surviving a Hurricane now. Learn how to prepare a readiness plan and survival kit. Know your evacuation route. Be prepared, Suncoast, when severe weather threatens. Access our special on our ABC7 app and all our live streaming platforms. Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Ro Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free senior care compass ebook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. 
Call now, 800-290-0352, 800-290-0352. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester, for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on a pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Great night out at uh, the Van Wazel tonight for a Friday Fest. Good right. music, big crowd. Too. Uh, one of the bigger crowds I've yeah. seen, and I tell you what, uh, lots of great music out there and people dancing. And yeah. uh, cloud cover helped out, you know, but it's still humid. It uh, was a lot of very fans uh, being yeah. used to kind of keep things on the cooler side. And a nice sunset out there. You couldn't ask for a better evening. We could have used a little bit cooler temperature. But this is from Casey Key webcam looking out in the Gulf of Mexico. I wanted to show you this time lapse, and uh, what a beautiful shot it was as the sun was setting. Uh, creating all sorts of gorgeous colors out there, as you see, with some clouds off in the distance. And now we have some showers off in the distance as well. Well, some photos, as you would expect, sent in. And Venice getting a real nice sunset down there. Uh, this from Venice Beach. John Duncan sending this one in. And Harbor Lights. Elaine. Nice shot there, Elaine. Appreciate that. And from Brady, Greg Campbell getting a look at the sun setting. A nice way to end this Friday. Uh, as far as the moisture content is concerned, in the atmosphere, we are looking at a little bit of an upper level low, a tropical upper tropospheric trough. Uh, let's say that four times real fast. Uh, you can see it's spinning right there just north of uh, the Dominican Republic, and this is pushing off to the west. This is going to have a little bit of an influence on our weather on Sunday, specifically as some colder air associated with this in the upper levels of the atmosphere could produce some stronger cells in terms of thunderstorm activity, and that'll happen on Sunday afternoon. But Saturday, we will get some storms around, and they will be uh, uh, the uh, typical variety of afternoon and evening storms developing along the sea breeze front. Right now, some showers off the coast continuing to weaken as they push off to the west. This one just popped up within the last 15 minutes east or west of Inglewood, and that is moving off uh, toward the west. Currently, it's clear, it's warm, and the uh, heat index right now 89 degrees. The dew point at 76, winds are calm, and the pressure 3006, and that continues to rise. The high today was at 93, 96 the record, and 90 the average. We've been pretty much above average all week long uh, with 95 yesterday, and on Wednesday it got up to 97 degrees, so it has been a warm week. No rainfall officially at the airport, but as I showed you earlier, some areas today getting uh, over an inch and a half to two inches of rainfall, especially east of U.S. 41. Now, temperature of 82 degrees in Jacksonville, Orlando at 77, 84 in Miami, and it's 86 in Key West. And as far as temperatures go, all into the 80s right now. You can see that at Cortez, 85, one of the warmest readings, and 82 at Mayaca City, 80 in Punta Gorda, Arcadia at 82. In Bradenton, you're at 83 degrees, Lakewood Ranch, one degree cooler. And as far as the satellite and radar imagery goes, we had the storms earlier. Those have for the most part, uh, ended, and then we'll keep an eye on that upper level low as it spins off to the west. And as far as rainfall goes tomorrow, if you have an early tea time or tennis in the morning, it should not be a problem. But in the early afternoon, we're going to see that sea breeze front start to push inland, and that will bring us a chance for showers. And then they'll come back later on in the afternoon and evening. So keep that in mind. 
And then notice what happens on Sunday. Nice to start the day off, a few showers early on, and then big storms again firing up in the afternoon and evening. So that's what we'll have to watch. These are the two systems I mentioned. This one racing off to the west right now. Uh, it has a 30% chance of developing. It looks like it's going to stay to the south of Florida, but it bears watching because conditions could become more favorable in the Caribbean on Sunday and Monday of next week. But uh, for the time being, we'll just keep an eye on it very closely over the upcoming days. For boaters, looks to be pretty good. Winds will be generally light out there. Seas running uh, less than two feet and the water temperature now at 91 degrees and the forecast uh, tides upcoming high tide at 1156 and the forecast tonight scattered showers off in the Gulf otherwise partly cloudy warm 78 for low and then for tomorrow look for a few showers in the afternoon and evening and south to southwest winds at 5 to 10 the extended forecast does call for showers scattered about less activity on Monday and then we'll keep an eye on the tropics midweek next week Scott. Okay, Bob, thank you. Hillary Clinton was on the road the day after making some history, accepting the Democratic nomination for president. Republican nominee Donald Trump also back on the campaign trail, but he made time to speak exclusively with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. ABC's Kenneth Moten reports from Philadelphia. Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine riding that post-convention wave of support. Their spouses, including former President Bill Clinton, by their sides in Philadelphia. What better place? to kick off this campaign than right here in Philadelphia where it all started 240 years ago. The Democratic presidential ticket kicked off a Stronger Together bus tour after a historic night in American politics. I accept your nomination for President of the United States. Philadelphia really showed off this week. The celebrations went into the early morning hours after the DNC, Clinton mingling with donors and supporters. But the party is over. That general election matchup against Donald Trump is just about 100 days away. His speech, his whole convention seemed more about insulting me instead of helping the American people. ABC's George Stephanopoulos sat down with Trump. She quoted Jackie Kennedy, su suggesting you're a little man moved by fear and pride. She's a very dishonest person. I have one of the great temperaments. I have a winning temperament. She has a bad temperament. She's weak. We need a strong temperament. And that's all it is. I have a strong temperament. I know how to win. And this country, if they choose her, this country will not be in good shape. While Trump is back on the trail swinging through Colorado, Clinton and Kane are taking their bus tour through Pennsylvania and Ohio, two battleground states in the race for the White House. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Philadelphia. Kenneth, thank you. You can see the full interview with Donald Trump Sunday right here on ABC's This Week with George Stephanopoulos. A Minnesota judge overseeing Prince's estate has ruled out 29 people claiming to be heirs to the musician's fortune. The ruling is part of a 19-page decision handed down by Judge Kevin Eide. Six siblings and half-siblings are still in the running for a piece of his estate. The judge also ordered genetic testing for two other people claiming to be related to the music legend. Prince died of a painkiller overdose on April 21st at his Paisley Park complex. He was 57 years old and did not leave a will. An Orlando man believes his sweet tooth got him in trouble with police. Dan Rushing was arrested last December after police say they found possible drugs in his car. Rushing says officers thought they found meth, but they actually found just the icing crumbs from a Krispy Kreme donut. According to police, the substance was tested in the field and in a police lab. Both times it tested positive for an illegal substance. Charges were dropped a month later after a state lab test determined the substance was in fact just icing. Rushing says he's now considering taking legal action for what he believes was a wrongful arrest. Sports is next, but first, here's what's coming up on Jimmy Kimmel. What we made tonight just for you. Let's begin the flopping. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hurricane season is here, so when severe weather threatens, count on the official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're armed with the most advanced weather technology. And focus on the Suncoast. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota flooring. And for 
for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents, but these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Come uncork your inner artist at Painting with a Twist. Bring your favorite bottle of wine and appetizers and enjoy an evening out with friends to celebrate any special occasion. It's perfect for a girl's night out, birthday parties, or a fun date night. Painting with a Twist offers two or three hour classes that are instructed by local artists and there is no experience required. We now have two convenient locations in Sarasota and Bradenton. Visit our website to view our calendar and schedule your next party today. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. Now, sports. The Rays finally back home after a long road trip out west. Tampa Bay hosting the Yankees tonight at Tropicana Field. And the Rays wasting no time getting on the board. That's Logan Forsyth going deep, long, and gone to left field. It's a solo shot, and it's 1-0 Rays. Two batters later, Corey Dickerson gets all of this. Devon Nova pitch, another solo home run. It's 2-0. Move on now to the fifth inning. Rays leading 4-0. Evan Longoria doubles to left field. Brad Miller will come around and score. That makes it 5 nothing Tampa Bay. The Rays win it 5 to 1 in the first game of their series with the Yankees. The Buccaneers getting another workout today. Quarterback Jameis Winston continues to build some chemistry with receiver Mike Evans. The two connecting often today in practice. No pads yet for the Bucs. They'll put those on this weekend and start hitting. Others who look good today, cornerback Brent Grimes with a pick, and Gerald McCoy was putting good pressure on the quarterbacks. Tomorrow's practice, by the way, is set for 8.45 a.m. at One Buck Place, and it's open to the public. Second round of the PGA Championship delayed by rain, but that softened up the course for the best golfers in the world, and they did some scoring today. On the second hole, watch Hideki Matsui. His approach shot to the green is perfect. It's going to roll right down there and get into the hole for an eagle. And he moves to three under the defending champ Jason Day getting hot at the end of today's round. He birdies the 14th his sixth birdie in his last seven holes and he's in contention at six under par. The leader is still Jimmy Walker. He would set up a birdie here on the 14th with a great shot. He's nine under par after two rounds and tied for the lead with Robert Streb. But he's not nervous as he chases his first major victory. It's not a negative. It's it's just a new it's going to be a new experience and It'll be fun. I mean, I've, I've been in these situations before. It's not a major. It's still golf, and you want to go out and win, and you still have to go perform. Doesn't matter what tournament it is. So um, I'm excited. 
And that's a look at sports for tonight. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers right after this. Stay with us. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. like we're getting another new neighbor. Now you could be the millionaire next door. Play Monopoly Florida Edition scratch-off games with a top prize of $5 million. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. This is a special health alert for seniors suffering with joint pain. If you have Medicare insurance, you may qualify for high-quality support braces at little or no cost. I'm thrilled with my knee braces. Now, there is a simple and proven solution for seniors to get out of pain with state-of-the-art support braces. I barely feel any pain at all braces for your knees and back, as well as your shoulders and ankles, too. I'm so happy with the quality of these braces. Call now, and you could qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I can play ball again, and it doesn't hurt. And because of my Medicare coverage, it costs me next to nothing. So call now. And because I have this red, white, and blue Medicare card, my braces have cost me just about nothing. It's true, you may get a knee, back, shoulder, and ankle brace at little or no cost. They qualified me for two knee braces and a back brace. If you have knee or back pain, give them a call. They can help. 1-800-476-8967. 1-800-476-8967. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Florida Studio Theater presents The Roommate by Jen Silverman. Now playing through August 7th. Brooklyn meets Iowa City when Sharon finds a sensible roommate, but it's far from what she expected. Don't miss what critics are saying is laugh out loud funny with unexpected turns and emotional depth. The Roommate is now playing through August 7th. Purchase tickets now by calling 941-366-9000 or visiting floridastudiotheater.org. At a political convention, it helps to make a grand entrance, not to mention a memorable exit. CNN's Jeannie Mose has the good, the bad, and the awkward. There's nothing that nails a grand entrance or exit like a PDA, political display of affection, punctuated with a billion balloons. Hillary and her posse were drowning in them. She was batting them, so was Bill, even kicking them. But entrances and exits can be hit or miss, like this miss of an air kiss. On the other hand, Hillary's shattered glass ceiling entrance was a hit. It had the audience chanting at her screen image. But sometimes a miss can be memorable. For instance, when Baltimore's mayor was supposed to gavel the Democratic convention. To order! But she forgot to use the gavel. She walked off and 15 seconds later came back with a bag. It happened two more times. Where is it? When the convention was being recessed, someone yelled gavel to remind the chair to return and swing that thing. Taking a page out of Hitchcock, <laughs> Donald Trump's somewhat less portly silhouette made an entrance. So dramatic, it was parodied by actress Elizabeth Banks at the Democratic convention. The women on The View spoofed it. So did Jimmy Fallon with Michael Jackson moves. 
and Stephen Colbert made shadow puppets, got in a fight, and met a girl. From dancing entrance to dancing exit, check out how acting DNC chair Donna Brazil sashayed off stage. Howard Dean's exit was a scream. And Michigan, and Florida, and Pennsylvania, and then we're going to the White House. So he left off the actual scream <laughs> from 2004. And then sometimes there are things that cause you to make an exit, in this case, a premature one. When a protester poured a bottle of water on Geraldo Rivera's head... You don't even know what I do. Yeah. His security guy hustled him away. Childish, yes. But at a convention, even potential and past presidents sometimes behave with all the delight... ...of kids. Ginny Murphy, New York. I was thinking last night watching all those balloons come down right. that there, there may be a balloon shortage in our country right now <laughs> because they had a lot of them. It's a, it was a, a great two weeks, uh, a lot yeah. of great coverage from our, our, our staff right. too that went up there and our crew up went up there. appreciate that. And a good weekend ahead, Scott. Some big storms uh, maybe a little bit bigger on Sunday. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Good night.